So let's switch over to the actual software. I thought we'd have a little fun today and work with a very simple model of a barge. Uh, young naval architect students always start with uh, a barge. Actually, this, this would be a, a fancy barge because most of us start out with uh, a rectangular barge. This barge actually has a rake on both ends. And I made the, the deck nice and red so it's easy to see when it's uh, sitting in the water. Uh, this is a 150 foot long deck barge with a beam of 54 feet and a depth of 10 feet. So in the profile view, you can see uh, the water line, the forward perpendicular. Here's a body plan view. I can turn the, uh, the sections on and off. So what we're going to do is uh, strictly what's called an equilibrium analysis. And I've set up several load cases but before we we get into that what I want to do is show you how easy it is to define uh, compartments so what I've done with this model is I've created 10 different compartments of the barge so you could just imagine that in the plan view of this barge it has uh, a rake on both ends so there's a watertight bulkhead here and then there are three more water type, actually four more water type transverse bulkheads and a longitudinal water type bulkhead. So this barge has a total of 10 water type compartments. So for doing this uh, demo, uh, what we're going to do is simulate uh, moving weight around by simply changing the levels in the compartments. It's very simple to uh, define a compartment in MaxSurf. Uh, that's done in what's called the room definition window. And uh, to show you this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, one of the compartments and we'll recreate it so that you can see how that works. So I just deleted uh, what we called ballast tank number eight. And this works a lot like an Excel spreadsheet. So I can just hit Control A to add a new row. I'll call it ballast tank 7, I mean ballast tank 8, and this is where I can define what type of compartment it is. Um, if it's a, a compartment for, say, a, a floodable length or damage stability type calculation, uh, I would call it that, but in this case we're calling it a tank, and I define a, a permeability. I just have everything set to 100%. Uh, we select a, a fluid type. We do have a built-in uh, library to pick from different fluids and densities, and that's what this is. Uh, I've got this sort of color-coded just for this model um, for visualization purposes. And then we just simply define what the, uh, what the boundaries are. Uh, I just noticed I was working on something else. I've got the units set to inches, so I'm going to change my units. And that's very easy to do here. So in this case, I want to work in decimal feet, long tons, and everything else I can leave the same. So now the aftmost boundary of this tank is going to be the same as the tank next to it. So that's going to be negative 52 feet. And that will be from the midships reference in this case. Uh, forward is going to be the same thing. It's going to be negative 26. Uh, the port boundary is going to be the center line because that's where the longitudinal bulkhead is. And then for all the way outboard starboard, I'm going to intentionally make that 30. And I'll explain why. Then the top and the bottom. The bottom is the baseline. So you see in this uh, visual here, you can see that this uh, compartment that I defined is actually sticking out from the hull. So what MaxSurf will do is it'll automatically uh, make that boundary conform to the actual shape of the hull uh, regardless of how complex the shape is. So we've got a bilge radius in this case. So you do that by simply just going under analysis and recalculate tanks and compartments. So it just made that shape the way we want it. So now we can close out of the room definition window. And now we're in what's called the load case window. 
and the load case window automatically pulls in whatever uh, tanks that you've defined. So now you'll notice we see ballast tank 8 is there and we can uh, enter in whatever level we want for a tank. So for example in the forward rake if I want to say 80 percent you'll see that uh, highlight and for the aft rake I'll say 30 percent and you see how that highlights um, and it automatically uh, tells you what the sounding is and it calculates the mass and the center of whatever fluid is in that compartment. So what's really powerful about an equilibrium analysis is I'm basically defining uh, what my fluid levels are in my tanks and I can also define whatever weights and centers I have for the vessel. So for this item one is the light ship, it's 350 tons and I gave it a center. Uh, the vertical, the VCG is 60% uh, of the depth of the of the barge and that's really all you need to do and what MaxSurf does is it will iterate to the solution that is it will um, actually do this in steps so that it's calculating what the final condition of the vessel is. So for example um, I will turn the um, Let's see, I'll go into the rendered view and I will run the equilibrium analysis. This is where I actually specify what type of analysis I want to do. And I'll simply run it. And you see that this barge just uh, went into this uh, trim condition. I'll show it in this view now. Um, so over here in the results, I can see uh, that my trim is three feet by the bow. I don't have any heel. Uh, this is telling me what the CG of the fluid is. That That's talking about, that's taking into account the free surface effect of the fluid that's in those two tanks. So I can put this back to where I had it. I have to first put the vessel back and I'll take these fluids back out of the tanks. So let's say, for example, we want to um, make make this barge have a, a list of, um, oh, I don't know, we'll just make it list. We'll fill up tank three and five. So now we can see how those tanks are full. It's very visual. Uh, it's one of the things I love about Max Surf is that you always have this very uh, visual constant feedback it's real time and um, when I want to just run this analysis I'll look at it in the, uh, the body plan view this time and we just hit the run button and you see that just did what we expect now we've got a 6.8 degree heel uh, I've got all the hydrostatics here and um, is very handy about an equilibrium analysis. You're probably wondering, okay, what, what are the applications for this? Well, there are several actually. Um, one is a scenario where you could be uh, working with a crane on a barge. And I have to always remember to re reset that back to the design waterline. So let's say, for example, I've got this set up. I'll look at this in the body plan view and I've got some loads defined here. So let's say you had a crawler crane that was on this. It was a deck barge and the crane was doing a lift over the side. So uh, typically the way this gets defined is you have to define the, uh, the centroid of what I'm just calling the body of the crane uh, with the counterweight um, and let's assume that that includes everything on the crane except for the boom um, so that's represented here and then you need a center and weight of the boom itself and then you need the point uh, at which you've got the the block at the end of the boom uh, 
uh, with the hook load. So that's acting down. So uh, we've defined those here. And so, for example, if we were to put a load of, say, 10 tons on this barge and then run that, you'll see here that we've got a, a heel of uh, one degree, a list of one degree. Um, I'll return it back to the waterline. If we increase that load to, say, 30 tons, and we run that, we've got a heel of 3.3 degrees. Now, they, that may not seem like a big deal, but uh, it, it is an issue uh, if you're exceeding what the machine list limit is for that particular crane. So when you're doing this kind of work, uh, you need to be cognizant of that, but also you do not want the edge of the barge any any point of the barge to be uh, going underwater uh, around the deck. So with Max Surf, you can very very easily see that working your way around. Uh, another good application can be where you are putting an end load on a barge, and I've got a load case set up for that, where I've got an end load and let's say we put that on for 120 tons and we run that and you see the barge trim and in this case we've got a trim of about 4.9 feet. Uh, that also is a very useful application for an equilibrium analysis. So we've used up our 15 minute limit and I would like to uh, close by just inviting everybody to visit our website where we've got a lot of great content on MaxSurf, links to many educational videos and more demos. Please contact me if you have any questions. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.